Good day everyone. I am Janata L.C. Pakulana, a student of grade 7 St. Ignatius of Loyola. Today, I will be demonstrating some household services, tools, and equipment, starting with the broom. This is a multi-purpose household services tools, tool or equipment that is used to sweep up the dirt or you can use it as a cobweb. Cub now let me demonstrate how the broom works. So you have your broom and here's the floor. You just do this and then sweep it across the floor. And then you gather up all the dirt you can possibly have and then just put it in one certain area. After you have collected enough dirt, all of the dirt will sweep it away to an exit. And after we sweep it out of the exit, we succeed by using a broom. Now, let me show you another purpose that a broom can do. We can use this to bring down cobwebs from the ceiling. Let me demonstrate. If there's cobweb right here, what people usually do to take out the cobweb is they do this. That is how they use a broom to be a cobweb. If you are short, you can use a stool or a chair to reach the height. But since I am kind of tall and with the help of the length of the broomstick, I was able to reach that part of the scene. Another household and ser household services tools and equipment is the dishwashing liquid and the sponge. This is a do. The dishwashing liquid is put in the sponge and the sponge will use the dishwashing liquid to wash the dishes. But before I demonstrate how to use this, I will be using some protection from the water. We will be using the most known, the apron. It's a bit hard to put on the apron because I don't know what I'm looking at. There we go. Now, another household services tools and equipment is something that I mentioned earlier, the water. Our water is voice activated. So when I say, water please, it turns on. Water off. As easy as that. Now, I will be demonstrating how to use these three. I will be taking a mug. It's dirty since it has been here with the other glass. And we will be open, opening this. And then we take the sponge and put in the dishwashing liquid. But if you don't have dishwashing liquid, you can just use dishwashing paste. Now, let's put down the water. Then, you insert the sponge and then just um, do a circular motion with the sponge. Make sure to do it a couple of times because mugs are very dirty because it is used by many people at times. It's either your brother's using your mug or your mother or your father is using your mug. So you have to clean it very nicely. And other beverages are being used with the mug like coffee, juice, and water. So you have to get rid of the stink, which means it is already good to be used. Then you wash the rims because people use the rims to um, it, it is used to be drink here just like that because um, people's lips touch the glass and then here around because who knows does the 
the drink might spill out and then it goes down and then it gets dirty. Now we still do a few circular motions and then also down here because if the drink spills it usually covers the whole bottom part so I also have to clean that. as well as the handle because many people because people use the handle to hold it thus the name now we rinse it water on and we move here move it here and then just rub it and then just rub it around just like that as well as the handle of course don't forget inside of it now no make sure to wash it nicely and well the water is too fast it's too nice wash a bit too messy and then we just let this out to dry over here water off and that is how you use, you use the dishwashing liquid the sponge and of course the water and now we will be using another household services tools and equipment which is the mopper we have the mopper the mopper is used to mop the floor like in this motion so that the dirt thus the dirt that is stuck on the ground which dried up will be gone because of the motion and the companion a dishwashing liquid. So now let me demonstrate how the mopper is used. We take dishwashing liquid since we, you can also use chlorine or other can, uh, or other cleaning materials cleaning liquids to use to mop the floor now we just put it on the floor and then we mop see the dirt there already disappeared because of the mop Make sure to mop very well, or else the dishwashing liquid will uh, still be wet, and then some people, in some cases, will slip and fall, which is a safety hazard. Now keep mopping until all the dirt that we see will disappear from the floor and just like that the floor is now clean and those were some of the household services tools and equipment one for the living room and the rest for the kitchen I hope that you will find this entertaining and useful. Until we meet next time. Goodbye!